So today I'm going to be doing an illustration with cats. Tons of cats. So basically one of my friends is turning 30 soon. So I decided to make her a postcard where she is there with 30 cats. There's actually not 30 cats. There's like 28 cats and two foxes. Cause she really likes foxes. So I wanted to record the process of me inking it and coloring it with watercolors and potentially some little touches with markers and some other media. So let's just, let's get started. I'm going to be using a Micron Sakura pen on color burgundy because I think it just makes the lines a bit smoother before coloring them in with watercolors. So let me talk a little bit about the creation process for this illustration. During the sketch process, I was struggling to come up with ideas on what to do for all of these 30 cats, well, 28 cats and none two foxes. I remember how at an early stage of the sketch process, I had about six or seven cats and I had run out of ideas. I literally didn't know what to do and where to put them. So I started experimenting a little bit with the cat's faces and expressions and poses like this one over here which is showing you a little butt crack which is something that cats really like to do. the final sketch looks like. I don't think I'm forgetting any lines. So let's just erase a pencil. I'm using my Rembrandt watercolor set and the first thing I tried and I and this is the second time I, I've done this with my watercolors is doing a light wash on the on the same color just this warm color and it's like an initial glaze even though glazing technically comes at the end it helped giving it a more cohesive feel because I wanted the illustration to feel very warm and cozy and these definitely did the job it brought all of the colors together the only thing that I didn't color with this light orangey ochre wash were a bunch of cats that were meant to be white. So I left them white so that when I added the blue colors for the white shade, it didn't turn into green. For the most part, I went for yellows, pinks and reds for the entire color palette. And then there's a few spots in the illustration that have colder colors. So there's whites and blues and purples and some areas where there's browns and greys. I believe like a week before doing this illustration, I played a little bit with the watercolors and I did this piece where I was mixing purples, blues and oranges on an object that was meant to be white and I loved how it looked like. With this illustration, there were a lot of really small details, like the little eyes and the lips, and some of the cats were really small and they had little details. And it was really soothing and relaxing to get the entire illustration done. I believe it took me a total of maybe four or five hours to get it colored, but it was a very, very nice process overall, and I really enjoyed the entire thing.
By the way, I'm not sure if you can tell, but coloring this little golden fox in the bottom was probably one of my favorite things to color. Mixing golds, purples, pinks and blues worked particularly well for this handsome guy. Another enjoyable coloring moment was painting the golden stripes on this other dude. Isn't he fun? The only thing that was probably a little bit challenging overall was this, this skirt. I could not manage to get the color I wanted and it ended up looking not so well. So that's something that I tried to fix on the digital touches at the very end after I finished the watercolor. I know that we're already in the middle of the watercolor section, but better late than never, let me briefly mention the brushes that I used. For the most part of the process, I used a Milan number no. 4 brush. This brush came with September scroller box and it actually works really nice. For the little small details, I'm using a Windsor & Newton Cotman in number no. 0. And then for the initial orange ochre wash, I started with the Milan number no. 4, but then I changed to this Da Vinci number no. 8 brush. It made a big difference because for a big area, the paint was drying before I could get to the end and I did want like a smooth orange wash overall and I didn't want it to look patchy or a bit off. As I was coloring the Foxes 4, I found myself struggling to get the vibrant orange shade that I had planned in my head, so I used the Viviva watercolors from September Scroller Box to get the job done. I mixed Dusk Orange and Burnt Sienna with the Orange Rembrandt pan and look how exquisite his fur looks now. Isn't he cute? For most of the shadows I used a purple tone and I sometimes would mix that purple tone with, with like a carmine watercolor. The amount of carmine would depend on how cold or warm I wanted the shadow to be. Here I'm finally getting to the cat's eyes and final touches. I have made the cats have a mix of brown and blue eyes I am also tweaking some of the colors to make them brighter and finalizing the shadows. And of course, a close-up of a few extra stripes on that hiker kitty. I couldn't have done these fine details without this very thin brush, which did an amazing job at getting sharp, bright lines. Then I have added a few extra shadows here and there, some extra stripes, some more shadows, extra fur details, and voila! Watercolors done! After getting done with the watercolors, I decided to add a little bit of extra texture and just smooth some of the details with this watercolor pencils that I've got. 
I basically just used it on the nose, on the lips, a little bit on the cheeks. I added some additional texture to the hair, some shadows overall and some of the eyes of the cuts to make them pop. For the final touches, I'm using this Uniball Signo Broad White Pigment Ink Pen to add a little bit of highlight on the eyes, on the tip of the nose, on the cheeks and in some of the cat's eyes to make them spark. And the moment you've been waiting for, the peel porn. And here's the finalized piece. The main idea right now with this piece is to scan it and do some final digital touches. The main idea will be to do some color correcting, make some colors shine a little bit more, touch a little bit the background and potentially fix a couple of things. But I do want to keep the aesthetic because I love the watercolor feel. This little felt down here, I think it's one of my favorites. I really like how I've played with gold colors and then pink colors and then like blues and purples. And I've tried to do the same sort of thing throughout the entire piece. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me draw. I hope you drew along. That would make me really happy. And I hope to see you in the next video.